this is the morning of the swim. Uh, my name's Jason Betley. I'm here in Baltimore Harbour with Noel with Gordon, getting ready to swim out to Fastnet Rock and back. It's flat calm, there's no wind, but there's a few jellyfish. And the swimmer's on. Go! The swimmer's on. Tuesday morning, 1am. Jason's waiting in. Baltimore to the fastnet and back. Jason is training and for a double English channel swim in a few months' time. And he's looking real strong. Gliding out, stretching, glow, glow sticks on him, and he's looking good. Going well here, first hour done. Jason is flying along. We 3.6k in the first hour. This is savage speed, super stuff. We're all thrilled here on board. Happy out. We're just passing the entrance to South Harbour. Over halfway, the sun is rising. The sea has, was flat earlier on, as you can see. It's no longer flat, but it's still ideal conditions. And Jason is doing extremely well. His stroke rate still remains the same. He's very comfortable. He's after about five feeds at this stage. And um, yeah, he's looking very strong. It's a pleasure to watch. Just gone half five. The sun is up, you can see it back there over Baltimore. We're looking back at Cape Clear. And Jason is powering on. I'm gonna pan around. And again it's gone flat cam for us. And I don't know if this is picking it up, but you can see up here. We are coming up on the fastnet, which is approximately 4k away from us right now. But we're flying. 17k done, sun is just rising, we're about 3k from the fastnet. All happy here, all smiling. Brilliant day out. Five and a half hours, we're coming up on the fastnet. What an amazing sight. As you can see, the waters have gone flat calm again for us, and Jason is powering on. What do you dream about? You train hard, you get here, you hope for good weather, and you get it. What many people don't realize is that there's a little fastnet and the main fastnet. As you can see, the gap between them divides the two rocks. When you consider that this was man-made and all the equipment had to be shipped out here and put together. And now we have Jason 
swimming as well as he was in the first 20 minutes, if not even stronger. This guy's got an engine in him and he's showing us right now. This is Baltimore to Fastnet and back to Baltimore, turning and swimming around the Fastnet Rock. Going around the rock, Jason flying. We're gonna hit a small bit of current now, which is slowing down for a while, but that's not harm. We've been too fast all morning. Um, happy out, happy crew, all the sleepy heads are up and about, so we're all happy out here. Turning for home. You can see here we're not making ground that quickly. We're just in a run of current at the moment, but we're getting through it nicely. Plenty of wildlife there. I don't know if the camera's picking up the seals and the gap between the two rocks. Coming up on just over eight and a half hours, 27k into the swim, and we're on the way home. Jason is still flying. He's held 48 strokes across every hour. His feeds, everything has been consumed, and everything is going well.
On the way home now, we're just passing the Gascon on the stretch of water between Cape and Shark, and it's a pretty turbulent piece of water that none of us want to get in there. So we're about a mile outside it, bringing Jason past. He's flying. We have some yachts on the way out, and we're looking at the beacon, and he'll be home before we know it. All the good. Here we are. The kedges are in the distance and we are at the beacon at the entrance to Baltimore Harbour. The swim is nearing completion and Jason has swam wonderfully. Without complaint, he ate all of his feeds and we are now coming up to the iconic beacon. He's had his last feed and we have under 3k to go to complete this mammoth task of Baltimore to the fastnet around the rock and back to Baltimore. We had amazing support all day. We had the legendary Steve Redmond call to give his support and encouragement. We've had many texts, many hits on Facebook and it's well deserved because Jason has been a star today. He has had the credentials, we've known that from start to finish but you still have to go and prove it and today he did just that. It's amazing. We're not quite there yet, but nothing's going to stop this guy from completing this amazing swim. Well done to Nathan, Noel Brown, Kieran, Darren, and I suppose I'll give myself a little bit of a thanks as well. Well done, swimmer. Well done. We'll just see if Noel Brown is just going to give us a little sign off here and give us thumbs up. <laughs> well done, Nathan. I think the swim really uh, is going to become one of the greats uh, in, in world swimming. Uh, I don't think there's a more beautiful swim you could dream of doing. There's not just one iconic thing at one end. There's another iconic thing at the other. The, the, the beacon and, and the fast net rock are just amazing. Uh, and to, to go and see uh, the beacon twice, once in the dark and once finishing the swim, is an absolute treat. Thank you, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd like to thank lots of people for helping me achieve this swim. It really was a tremendous day out. Uh, Helen and my family at home uh, for supporting me while I did all the training. Uh, to Noel and Nathan at Fastnet Swim for getting the association going and, and facilitating the whole thing. To the crew of Radiance who did a fantastic job of, of looking after me and just, just being there. Really a, a, an absolutely spot on uh, effort by them. But I think most of all, uh, Gordon Adair. You, you've heard Gordon on the video. Gordon volunteered to come and spend all day with me, starting at 1 a.m. Uh, and he was there every step of the way, looking out for me, feeding me, encouraging me. Uh, Gordon, thanks a million. Uh, also, Gordon, thank you very much for putting this video together with Peter. Uh, I really, really do appreciate it.